cool. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well, it seems. Perhaps this isn't an actual ancient ruin. What's going on? Uh, how does should I say this? But don't you think it, this building resembles a school? School. How do you mention it? I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Whoa. There might be a resemblance to Hope Speak Academy. Yeah, the door. The door too. Well, there's a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard. I'll fucking cut you if this was a waste of time. I didn't know you were also here. That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Yeah. Nothing like that. Aww. Then who cares? I should have played in the bath with Mar my hero more. Let me ask. Then, what in the world did you find? Chalky found something. I wonder what it is. Well, hurry up! Uh. Hey, Chalky. What did you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with the island's secret? Hmm. About that, I don't know. Hey. What do you mean, you don't know? Hmm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. Um. It's like a comic book originally about, base about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. Hey. Look, that door over there. Door? Oh my god, it's the same door from before. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like that's that's the door to the ruin. Hey. So, what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Um. Before we attempt to go inside, let's try to brush off some of this dust and clearing some of these roots off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. You're right. Just as Shiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs to an, an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door frame from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with the ancient ruin. And what is this symbol on the door? Hello? Hmm, it looks like ja it's Japanese. Hello? Ah, you're totally right. Um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai or future. Future. Bastard. Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? It looks like there's a liquid liquid crystal display next to the door. Could those two be related? Hey. Oh right, that must be the key to open the door. It's probably just set to open when you type the password. Yes, yes. Acting all high and mighty. So what's next? It's obviously impossible to put in a password without any hints. <laughs> Are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? What do you mean, dangerous? See? Cuz, that thing next to the door panel, it doesn't look like- doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. G gun? Huh? That's a gun? If it is, it's probably pretty dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, correct? <sighs> Damn it! It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. You do it then. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Are they... Is that where everyone from the first game is in right now? 
Are they like gonna come out of that door? Like at the end of the game? That'd be crazy. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? You're both quiet. You, uh, you guys just n know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. Sorry. No, I have no idea. I have no... I have no idea at all. I don't know either. Um... For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hopes fragments. Hey, there's no way you, d you guys don't know. Just don't just show up and tell us some lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Um, uh, just as I thought, you guys are hiding it on purpose, right? Hey. Don't talk like talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. Sorry, sorry. You nasty pig bar. Say you're sorry, bitch. Oh, I just said it. I said I'm sorry. Is it possible that there is a connection between this door and the reason the island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter, and there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up. Hmm, several possibilities cross my mind. Mm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That, that door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? What are you saying? Hey, um... For instance, even Mon Monomi and I can go... Can go and go as we please, but we can't enter what's beyond that door. Huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... There now, now that I've showed up, showed up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus Beater Fist... This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island, a mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. <laughs> that is why I have a high expectation for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. That seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember what that black what that black and white Tanaki said before. Hey, why are there sixteen of you? If it's a total of fifteen students from Hope Speak Academy, we arranged to come to the to this island. That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. <coughs> there's a traitor among us. That's what that ugly Tanuki said before. Fine, fine. Stop. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> Call me ugly and a Tanuki? These kinds of silly names don't depress me in the stylus. He's totally depressed. If there's a trader, if there's a trader, they probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside w world beyond that door. Or maybe who's whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami is hiding in there. What? Do you really think there's a trader among us? No of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. What? There isn't. There's no trader anywhere. Hey, bastard. Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just have you guys ever heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? You. I'm the one asking you a question. Don't change the subject. Come on. I understand why you want why you want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students. No, wait, elementary school students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what is this organization? <laughs> it's literally what it's literally what it says. Don't it. Those guys ended the world. <laughs> ended the world? Hey, um That's not an overstatement or metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them world ender? Basically. You mean they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be an uh, that might be accurate. The only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. <laughs> In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes that end who ended the world. What's going on? 
going on? So, don't say things that don't make any sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender, are you saying that you and Monami are also members of that organization? The only thing I can tell you is, the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island. What? World Ender is behind it all. Are you me? Why are you being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Panic. It's just another made up story to trick us, like when he said we lost all our, our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spot nonsense all you want while I put while I puff cigar smoke cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My my, that was kind of enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Anyway, I'm telling the truth. World, the World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why. You guys gotta find out that traitor and kill them dead. You better stop. I'm gonna punish you. Shut up, Monami. Big brother defying trust like you needs to be punished. No. Don't put my ears. They're gonna come. Come off. Monokuma and Monami departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just What's now? Going on? Is there anyone here who understands what he was talking about? Um, Not a clue. Uh, hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time to, for us to keep thinking about this. You're right. You're probably right. Hey. But it gets it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better day, uh, idea. Let's just call it a day. I need to get my water real fast. Okay. After exploring the new island, all, we, uh, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, the world ender. I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't feel even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. I don't like this. Oh. Am I, like, too close? I don't know what's happening. At least my favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I fall for that. I will ne never ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Make sure you guys be careful too. Executive committee has an announcement to make. Good morning. Now then, uh -oh. let's show. Okay. That's the same. I thought it was different. Morning already, huh? Feels like morning came so quickly. It's like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired and I'm hungry. So I should just so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Dang, I missed two. No, I one. I always gotta talk to Gundam. Hi, Gundam. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Byakuya and Taro Taro. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother Blossom? Or to turn to burn in the fires of Genhenna? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. That guy is the same as usual. <laughs> All right. Hmm. 
Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hanjime? <laughs> what do I think about what? Isn't it obvious? The stuff he said about about a traitor and world ender. I'm asking you if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I can suddenly find out, any out anything. Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No, no need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance, a worst case scenario... Impossible. Even a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about that traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold. Of course. In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment because we and can't move at all. Huh? It cannot be. Tied up? You say? Um, could you be referring to Nakito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito is the traitor. What about the other part? Where you said he was tied up and can't move. <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, what should we do? Dumbass, don't roll me into this. They'll find out we work together, so, too. Aw, oh, crap. You guys are both idiots. You. Hey, what does this mean? I mean... Well, you know... There's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, we, he put us all in danger, you know? Mm. Taro Taro committed a murder because that guy attempted him, right? So that makes him a killer too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. So that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. Uh, how should I put this? He's a little creeper. Uh, not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high he could sell tickets to see it. Hmm, that is truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Be oh, human. What... What they like and what they hate. What makes them happy? What makes them angry? It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict other opponent, their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents at all. Establish, establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. Hey. You should be careful. You're te teetering on the edge of yourself. Yeah. Anyway, where did you two tie up Nakito? Uh, the dining hall in the old building. That's where Byakuya got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. <laughs> so you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy. <laughs> you killed him? He's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie, tie him up. Then... Then what shall we do with Nakito at the po moment? At this point, let's hear everyone's hmm. opinion. It's not less. It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> he's also like, he, he's also like the most likely person to be the traitor. <laughs> so is it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see. I see. If so, it, it seems it would be better for watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I wish you'd treat it more like an achievement. <laughs> Tee and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. <laughs> Who are you calling tiny boy? <laughs> You're here? Jeez. It figures. You guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them? Tch, looks like you you sheep acting all, Look at you sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> My fair Oh, hello. Is he Buki? <laughs> She's fun. Oh, did the shitty s sheep all bleat at me? It looks like there is one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard. Try if you dare, bastard. Shut up. Shut up. You can't threaten me. I'm not, but I'm not. You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. 
you. You're just a pipscoop without the Kuzuriro clan backing you up. What'd you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. You bastards. I'll make sure you regret that later. What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Hasuichi, uh. let's stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. <laughs> no future, huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey. Don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Phew, on top of this the island's mysteries, there, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, it's just one thing after another. True. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left to our respective cottages. So what should I do today? Can I see Nagito? I'm curious. Let me see. <laughs> we can go in! Oh my gosh. Here. I don't want to see him. Aw, man. Shouldn't go inside. Dang it! <laughs> I wanted to see him. <laughs> Alright, let me go outside. I want to talk to Gunhom. Well, I just want to get gifts. Uh. There's thing in here, right? But I don't think it has a lot. Actually, I should go to the other thing. Um. At the beach. Here. I'll give it a shot. Wait, I have a lot. Uh, how do you do this again? Obtained present. Can? Oh, it looks like a game console. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Junko! What the heck? That was cool. Changing. Oh, there it goes. On. How do I leave? Big bet. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to people. Now that I got some gifts. Oh, I should probably actually. Oh, wrong button. Took my pet. I can give him a present. Um. I'll give him some water. <laughs> and I 
Oh. Hey, look at this. Nice. He's a little bit happier. Uh, where is everyone, actually? <laughs> I was just gonna start running around. Okay. Hmm. Oh, they're probably at the new island. A lot of them are. I wanna talk to Gunham. How do I get here? Oh, here. Where is he again? Oh, the ancient ruin. Probably faster if I walk the other way then. Yep. I'm on the borderline of developing a relationship with a human, you say. <laughs> ha, you make me laugh. I'm the supreme overload of I overlord of ice. Everything about me is different from humans. My thought pro process, my principles, my existence, my foundation. Everything. Uh right. You want to get closer to me. <laughs> Such a meaningless act. You should aware. Be, you should already be aware of it. The fear you feel toward an existence you can't possibly understand. You seem to talking as if you're on t two separate wavelengths until it was time to leave. Yay! Yeah, let's see what I got. What'd you like to give them? Okay, I got this coffee. Non-alcoholic wine. Chocolate chips, bread, cake. A coconut. Brightly colored jeans. What? Oh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean to choose that. <laughs> you know, I did though. Not a bad choice coming from you. I should be able to make an effective use of this. Let me tell you this. If you obtain something again, come show it to me. This. Hold it if you cherish your life. It's better if you don't come, at, come any closer. My magical beast have a thirst to kill. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. <laughs> just as I thought, you know nothing. You will know the true terror if you look down on them, just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. <laughs> oh god. Their territoriality is frightening. They <laughs> that's, not, that's so true. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Oh, my tears. Today started to fight started when Sandy got greedy and enroached upon Ju Jumpy's territory. Jumpy was attacked, was knocked aside, and his foot stepped into Mag Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champy. Well. I was able to quell their rage by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not have been that, that easy next time. I see, that's troubling. Could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that band-aid? By the way, do you know which... Which species of my four Dark D Divas of Destruction has the lar largest body? Species of hamsters? I don't know that much about hamsters. <laughs> Roboroski? Shungarian? Is the largest? Golden hamster. <laughs> Golden? <laughs> Golden hamsters are the biggest species. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was not sure. I'm not that informed on hamster knowledge. 
Yes, those fearsome beasts boast the largest size among all hamster species. However, they are also the most docile and are known for the being the smartest too. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. It appears you cannot escape. But only Gold Golden fear no fear. Thus, they usually do not bar bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people. This too must be the will of causality. That's what you must pay attention to to their stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm. I certainly didn't think know Nature, that. The collective will of the world. However, that is that isn't the only feature of the Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could even say they have an unlimited combination. After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur, a hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. <laughs> but now, all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You were probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, those... Are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. There are no problems in that regard. I have peoples all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research into the syn synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> Th they know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. This world. Beyond that, I already made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gunham makes me th rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. What do you, yearn for? you will never experience such a once in a lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high quality food, and a place to sleep. Oh, such luxuries are even mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 1, days after they are born. Remember well. They're saying that Gunham walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gunham feels when toward all animals, not just hamsters. Interesting, Gunham wallowing in sadness. I left the area. Oh. Okay. I should try to go somewhere else. Yes. Um, no one's out here. May I talk to Chiaki? Because I like her too. Oh. Oh, she's in here. She's at the hotel. Oops. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, this here. She is. I wonder what's up with that. Oh, I wonder what's up with that ancient ruin. What should I do? Should I hang out with Chialki? Yep. Obsessing over stuff doesn't solve anything, right? Yep. I should stop thinking and play video games. Hey, hey. Let's battle, Hajime. I battled Chialki and got my butt kicked. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Chialki and I grew a little closer. Uh. I should have some game consoles. I should probably like those. Hmm. I'm looking. Oh. New home video game console. Hey, hey. You're giving this to me? <laughs> Thanks. I'll take good care of it and use it. Oh. Is she sleeping again? Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? Good morning. Ah, uh, no. Since you're here, let's talk. If you give up at, at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. My adventure ended like this. That's all That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? I can't believe you don't get, an, get my Shadowgate no joke. Hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might ha wake up if you go for a walk. Mm. I want to go... To a fun place. A fun place. The park? 
How about the park? Oh, was that wrong? I don't know. <laughs> when you're playing a game at the park, all the kids just gather around for no reason. There was a game you're only able to play in the sun. It's very... Looks like she wants to go somewhere else. Oh. Then I guess the supermarket. Okay. Should we go check- should we go check out the supermarket? Yeah. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Chainsaws are the strongest though. It sounds fun, so it's fine. I don't really know what it means, but I guess if it's fine with Chiaki, it's okay. Chiaki and I walked to the supermarket together. He walked around the aisle, aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big and has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival. This place has too much of everything. Hmm. What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. Oh, those are sweet rice crackers for Girls' Day. For for Girls' Day, man. This place all, this place all, all, ugh. this place seriously has everything. <laughs> I see. They're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during Girls' Day, you know. Huh? What's Girls' Day? Huh? You know, on the, the March on March third, you're a girl. Didn't you celebrate it with your family? Ah, uh, crap. I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing. But even so, I. Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Forget about what I said. Um. Nope. I really don't mind. I did. I did have a family. My father. You had a father? Then your mother? No, I shouldn't ask something about something like that. Hey, hey. So what is Girls' Day anyway? It's a doll festival held on third on March third. Dolls are set up so you can pray for the for girls' health and success, and then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors. Mm. I see. <laughs> That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing really. I'm not saying everyone's supposed to know this, but for her not to not know what Girls' Day is, what kind of past does Shiaki have? It's fun to go to places with someone. Plus, you teach me a lot of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place I can take Chiaki that will make her happy. Fun. Took Chiaki back to her room, otherwise she'd find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh! Oops. I thought he was making the nighttime announcement. <laughs> oh man. Alright. This is short, but it's a good place for me to stop, unfortunately. I wanted to. because I'm really hungry. <laughs> Curry us, huh? This is like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, no, who would actually follow that? <laughs> I don't know who's planning this this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. To rock park again. Yeah. Short stream, but I'm hungry and I want to. I'm tired. I don't want to relax. So make sure it's saved. Yep. Interesting. So Monica has something for us to share, so we'll save that for next time. Okay, so right now Nagito is locked up in the thing. I really wanted to see him in there. I wanted to see what he was gonna say what he would say. <laughs> Such a strange character. Also he had like the whole monologue thing in the beginning. So I guess that's he was talking and that's when um that Kumaro and Kurashiki? I think that was right. Freaking, um, knocked him out. And then we tied him up. Which I guess is for the better. He has a little cuckoo in the head. I wonder what Monica's gonna talk about now. Oh, he's probably gonna present the next motive. That's probably what it is. We'll see what happens. I don't know what the next one's gonna be. But we'll save it for next time. So, goodbye.